On my way back to CapCut, let me show you a squeeze transition. There's an inbuilt squeeze under distortion. But I don't think it's the best because it's going to duplicate some frames and then it leaves you right here with a black bar. So if I increase the duration and I go over this again, you can see that right here. I go frame by frame and you can see it switches right here from the footage to a black bar and you can't really get rid of that with this default inbuilt transition so it's better to do that manually turn off the track magnet here that's important and let us go maybe to this position you want to select the top clip so the first one and then uncheck uniform scale and now you can adjust the height without the width being adjusted. Start an animation here for 100%, go to the end, turn it down, it creates a new keyframe. And now we have this squeeze created and there is no black bar. Obviously there is a black bar in the background now, but the squeeze isn't black anymore. So we'll just put our second clip down here where the animation starts. And this is a much smoother squeeze transition. I have to scale this up a little bit as it has a different video format. But you can see this allows us to get around this problem with the inbuilt squeeze transition. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.